What's up, guys? So, I've got that Elite Mystery Box opening video for you today. So, I said that I would do this um, in the last update. The Elite Mystery Boxes were improved. Basically, what I did is just removed the entire common table. Um, the reason was just kind of common items in those in those in-game boxes, the higher tier boxes, are kind of, they're too common. So, a lot of these items you just get pretty much every single time. Um, I think it's a 77% chance I'll get a common item. So what I've decided to do, and I've done this before with other boxes, I just remove the common table from those boxes. If you go on our Discord at any point in time, you can go to Revival, uh, go to General. At the top, you'll see these little... Pa oh, Ninja up uploaded his video. Nice. I'm going to have this in the description for you if you guys want to watch it. Ninja is back uh, playing private servers, and he's actually making videos on his second channel. So I will link you that below. Go check that out. He's made crazy progress, so his videos should be good. Like, I feel like he's already surpassed me. He already actually has, like, uh, I guess I shouldn't spoil anything, but he's, he's past me. If you click the uh, pinned links, you'll have right here this one. This is the exact rates that apply to every single box. Now, it's not perfect because, like I said, sometimes we... we remove the common table, so then all you have is the uncommon, uh, rare, and very rare. And that doesn't necessarily help you. But if you jump to it, you can sort of see the original numbers here. So instead of instead of doing the math with common added, you would just do the math with these ones added to sort of get the better rates on these boxes. Um, that's a bunch of information I know you don't care about. Let's just get into the opening, right? Um, so I am on the test server. I know that people... Uh, I, somebody made a, a stink about the fact that I did a video on a test server one time, and I have no clue why. I think he thought it was something to do with the player count, but I don't understand that. Like, I don't I don't see what the logic of having one player count would be better than whatever the player count really was. Um, but yeah, we are on the test server. Live server right over here. That's not showing you anything important good. Live server right over here. Everything's fine. I just thought I would get that out of the way. And the reason for that is just because every single box yells every single thing, so there'd be a ton of spam. And even though I spam the live game plenty of times, I uh, I figured it'd be easier to just do it over here while I'm on it. <laughs> you know, while I'm doing Ashes Dungeon. Uh, so yeah, basically the main thing that was changed was the uncommon. Uh, the common table was removed, and some of those items were replaced with the uncommon table. So you can still get some of those old items, but for the most part, you're you're li likely going to get something better. Uh, these are five dollars in the donator store. They are there for quite a while. They don't really rotate out as much as the bigger boxes. So you shouldn't have to worry about that. I'll put a couple together, and then we will get back with a 500 to sort of give you a big over variety. Large cash bags. We'll open those all up at the end just to see how many we get. Alright, so I will be back when we have all 500 opened up. Alright, we got the last 25. Ooh. Okay. Oh, we already got it. Okay, too. That is definitely a uh, <laughs> very rare item. So, let me organize this to make it look a little better. All right. So we ended up getting quite a few raid items. Three ancestral rope tops. Pretty much full ancestral right here. Only one crest piece, which is surprising because I think like when the update first came out, I saw somebody open a bunch of boxes and he got like five crest pieces, which are like insanely rare. I don't realize. I don't think he like realized how rare that was. <laughs> But uh, just to him, I guess. Um, two arcanes. That's cool. Sitting plate buddy. So how many raid items total? A seven. It's not bad. These two are definitely uh, very rare. This is very rare. I don't think the Santas are very rare. The rapier is very rare. You can kind of see what is rare based on like the twelves, and you can see what's common based on, or not uncommon. Com uncommon. I just butchered the hell out of that. But uh, I think Zenai shards the item we got the most of. Um, Let's open up these 16 large cash bags. I'm not going to open up these, but, you know, you can just sort of imagine what's in them. All right. Not bad. And then the thing you got to remember with Elite Mystery Boxes is that they do give hug points, which I don't remember how many I had, but 500 times 500 equals 2,500? I don't know. 250,000. I was so far off. Not so far. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that would be, like, one Uber box and uh, and some extras. <laughs> so, you know, not great, but it adds on. It's free. You know, it's free. It's extra. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the boxes. I think they're a lot better now, and I think they're definitely worth, like, opening compared to before, where you would just open it and, like, get, like, a bludgeon piece. 
I mean, I would say the worst thing you can possibly get would be, like, decorative. And you can see that the rates aren't, like, crazy common. And the only reason I say that is because it's pretty much just rare components or 10 mil cash to sell a shop. Same with, like, the cabbage cake. These are 25 mil, so you'd actually rather have those. Zenite shard, depending on who you are and what you're doing, they might not be useful, but I, I, I assure you that'll change soon. So, I guess that's a spoiler alert. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.